You want to know how I ended up here, foreigner? You dare ask such a question, as if we were equals? Very well. I will tell you the story, my companion in misfortune. If there is one thing of which we are not deprived in this bloody dungeon, it is time. I aimed for the throne, yet I ended up in this dark, moldy prison cell. Beyond these bars lies the land of my fathers, Lithuania. Its swamps, deep forests, and raging rivers are not exactly the heart of civilization, if you ask our enemies. Which makes it all the more astonishing that they have tried time and again to subjugate it. It began when some chosen ones felt called on to bring the light to Lithuania. They named themselves the Teutonic Order, and under the banner of the cross they promised deliverance, yet they brought only death and perdition. Lithuania was not easily cowed. Our ancestors learned how to fight by battling the forces of nature and the beasts of the dark primeval forests. Every one of our soldiers is steeped in that same tradition. But the more that we resisted the Crusaders and their god, the more ruthless they became. Slowly, we began to see their true faces. They called themselves holy warriors, but they were nothing more than robber knights. And a hundred years of pillaging our lands had made them masters of their trade. They raised our strongholds and torched our villages. Had Grand Duke Gedimina still been alive, he would have put this mob of greedy crusaders in its place. But a devious coup ended his life and left the throne to his useless son, Eunutis. Eunutis was weak, but worse, he was divisive when the land needed unity. He turned away from our old beliefs and accepted the Christian God. As he failed to control the domestic unrest, the Grand Master of the Teutonic Order saw his chance to subjugate Lithuania for good. However, Eunutis' brothers, Algirdas and Kestutis, refused to stand idly by as their beloved homeland fell to the cross. They exhorted the disaffected princes to dethrone Eunutis, who had barricaded himself inside of the Lithuanian capital of Vilnius. Internal disputes threaten our independence. The Teutonic Knights rattle their swords, while our useless brothers underestimate the threat. Let us put an end to this mischief. Take the throne, 
and prove worthy of our father's legacy. That is how we will do it, my brother. Just keep the order at bay. I will take care of our ineffectual brothers so that they might understand that the affairs of government should not be in their hands. gave Vilnius hey, to Mr. me, Gito. making it clear who he considered his enemy. Raise your hand against me, and you shall die! You cannot scare us, you knew this. We have known you from an early age, and you have always been this pompous knee-high boy that you are evidently still today. You are all bark, no bite. Sveiki. Eimi statyti. Klausau. Eimi dirbtų. Eimi statyti. Aš pasiruošęs. Eimi statyti. Klausau. Eimi statyti.
Nobody left with a sense of loyalty and decency. Do not grieve over this. You can rely on me to teach these two ankle biters a lesson. I will see to it that they whine like beaten dogs and beg for forgiveness before tomorrow dawns. Show yourselves if you are so bold, my defiant brothers! I long for a good fight! Affairs are dangerous, but they can also be a useful tool. Some of our subjects follow ancient pagan traditions, while others are committed to Christianity. Perhaps we can win both groups over to our cause. Do not worry about the Teutonic Knights. I will assure that they do not cross our borders. But I will need the help of your soldiers to wipe out the Order's outpost, al -Ghadad. 
kom zo. Zweek ik? Hey, Mr. Deep. Kom zo. Hey, Mr. Deep. Ik ben Hey, Mr. Deep. So, hey, Mr. Tito. A new faith has prevailed in this village. From now on, its inhabitants will cede a tenth of their harvest to the church. And to us, their vaunted protectors. A new faith has prevailed in this village. From now on, its inhabitants will cede a tenth of their harvest to the church. And to us, their vaunted protectors. Kaisa Kise? 
eu sou. E nesta título. Acho que vai ser o Oxas. Amy, close up. Soprato. Guys, I can see. Amy, stay with me. With our help, the new faith has prevailed in this village. From now on, its inhabitants will seed a tenth of their harvest to the church. And to us. Their vaunted protectors. prevailed in this village. From now on, its inhabitants will see the tenth of their harvest to the church. And us, their wanted protectors. So, do you see? Amy, 
To jau su... Supratau. Klausau. Supratau. To jau su... Kā jūs sakīs? With our help, the new faith has prevailed in this village. From now on, its inhabitants will seed a tenth of their harvest to the church. And to us, their vaunted protectors. Thank you. 
ce qui se passe. Ну что, я не хочу. 
Raiding parties are on the run. I fear that these robber barons will return in the future. Now, we should focus on liberating Lithuania from the rule of our ragged brothers. My soldiers captured construction plans for powerful siege weapons from the Crusaders. Nobody in my ranks is skilled enough to understand them. Do you happen to have siege engineers capable of doing so? Excellent! Your engineers deciphered the plans that we had captured. We can now construct powerful catapults. Faith has prevailed in this village. 
From now on, its inhabitants will cede a tenth of their harvest to the church. And to us, their vaunted protectors.
Basic easy. Kaj se kisi?
speaking. Soldiers, make it into the city! Keep this rabble rouser away from me, you useless fools! Keep him away! Let him go, Algirdas. He will not come back. I have heard that he seeks refuge in Moscow. May he rot there. We have more important things to take care of. Sou 
продукт.
Ei, me quero estou, seu prato. Ei, me. Qual são? Caíssem, ei, me. 
Cordova. I cannot believe it. My fortress destroyed. My army smashed. I have no choice but to withdraw after this shameful defeat. There he runs. Marimantas allegedly seeks refuge with the Golden Horde. What a pathetic idea. It will not do him any good. Lithuania is ours. Let us rest and allow our brave men to recover from the fighting. We will meet at the court in Vilnius, my brother. For there is much to discuss. To seize power is one thing. To keep it is something else entirely. Only a fool declares himself the victor after winning the first battle of a war. As such, Algirdas and Kestutis, the victorious usurpers, knew that their triumph could turn out to be short-lived. The two of them, however, were a different breed than most rulers of their time. Instead of quarreling as their brothers had done, and as most people expected them to, for who had ever heard of two men sharing power? Algirdas and Kestutis agreed to rule Lithuania together. It was a remarkable move, and it showed that they cared more about the well-being of their subjects than personal power. This, of course, did not go unnoticed by the Teutonic Grand Master. He knew that he would have to contend with more formidable opponents from now on. <laughs> 